Research questions can be tricky things to develop and to write. This video looks at key characteristics of research questions, offers some advice on how to write your own, and includes additional materials you can consult for more information as you work on your own research questions. To begin, what are research questions? Literature tells us that these can be defined as pointed, focused questions that guide and shape your research. Well-written, focused research questions are a guide for you as the researcher to stay on track and not go off on unproductive tangents. They help us to make useful choices regarding what literature we read, and they also guide our theory, research design, and means of analysis. They are also a guide for your reader to see the focus of your study, the kind of study you will be doing, and how your project may take shape. It is often the case that your research questions emerge from your reading of the literature on your topic. As you read about the concepts researchers are using to research your study phenomenon, questions may begin to form in your mind. As you read more about the context of the phenomenon and the problem you wish to study, you may also start to form research questions. This reading and writing work helps you to construct a specific focus in the field that you study will contribute to. Your research questions give you and your readers guidance as to how you will make your contribution. This usually happens as you are writing a proposal and starting your project. One of the things you can do then to help yourself develop clear research questions that emerge from and are connected to the literature and to any theoretical framework you may be using in your study is to make notes of questions that emerge as you are reading and writing in your research journal and keep track of these. These may eventually become your research questions. So now we basically know what research questions are and the role they play in the research project and process. How do you write good ones? A useful place to start is perhaps with the characteristics of bad research questions and work backwards from these. Bad research questions can be said to have five basic elements. They are fuzzy and unfocused. For example, what effects does online teaching have on student learning? They use loaded and or contentious and or vague terms. For example, why are digital natives so much better at learning online? They include problematic hidden assumptions. For example, to what extent does online learning undermine students' engagement in their own learning and personal growth? They anticipate a simple yes or no answer. For example, can online learning create more engaged access to education? They tie things down so tightly to a specific context that your study may have little relevance outside that narrow context. For example, to what extent do first year students using Moodle are you connected? For Microbiology 1 at Rhodes University, experience success in their modules. To improve on these problematic research questions, you would need to pay attention to words and their meanings, phrasing and links with the aims and goals of your study. Before we move on to discuss this further, we recommend pausing this video and have a go at drafting a research question or questions. The problem with many words in academia is that they are often words that have ordinary or everyday meanings as well as conceptual or research informed meanings. Take engagement, for example. This word can have a few different meanings in English, but when you pair it with students and create the concept of student engagement, you have a phrase with a very particular set of meanings in higher education research, some of which may be debated and contested. You need in your reading to get clarity on how such terms are used in the literature and to establish what your study means by this term. Look at your draft research questions and ask yourself if you really understand what all of the key terms and concepts mean. A good way to check your understanding of these concepts embedded in your research question is to pause for five minutes and do some free writing to explain each key concept very simply. If you find it easy to explain the concepts in detail, you probably understand it quite well. If you find it a challenge, you may have some more reading and writing to do. Pause the video and try it now. Write for five minutes non-stop on each concept in your research question. Another thing to consider is phrasing. You want your research questions to be short, 
focused and conceptually clear. This means using as far as possible less jargon, uncomplicated phrasing, and asking one question at a time. Consider this example. What are the fields in these two disciplines and to what extent does an understanding of the field, combined with an understanding of the underlying discourses and principles, offer researchers and practitioners valuable insights into the disciplinary knowledge practices? There are a few things wrong with this question, but perhaps the most glaring issue is that this is actually two questions. Understanding the field and understanding the underlying discourses and principles are actually two things related perhaps, but not one and the same. Also, you may wonder what discourses and principles means here and what disciplinary knowledge practices are. There's too much going on here. This is a bad research question. This brings us to the last point. Your research questions need to have clear links to the research problem you are interested in tackling and the rationale or purpose for your study. You can make some notes for yourself on what your research problem is, why your research is necessary, what the gap you're addressing is, and what literature and theories or models inform your research approach. The answers to these will assist you in drafting focused, guiding research questions. It is important to remember that the questions you draft for your proposal may look quite different to the questions you have in the final thesis. This is normal and part of the research process, seeing how your questions grow, become refined and take a more sophisticated shape between the proposal and the final draft of your thesis can be a heartening and gratifying process. Remember that your research questions provide the golden thread to your whole study. When your reader sees your research question in your text and then use your discussion of the literature, it should be clear why you are discussing that particular literature. Similarly, the theories you are using for your study should seem well aligned to the questions you are asking. The kinds of data you collect and the ways in which you analyze them should also make sense given the research questions you are asking. Finally, remember that a high quality study needs to make a contribution at the very frontiers of the field, which means your question needs to be positioned within current debate in the field. If you have more than one research question, make sure that each question does not require you to engage with different literature and theories or to collect different data and undertake different analyses. Make sure that collectively your research questions lead to a doable study. Please look below this video for additional resources we have selected for you, which we hope you will find useful as you work on your own research questions.